Hello friends, school steps dot in welcomes you again. In this tutorial, we'll talk about how to package the variable applications. So when you publish your variable application to the users, you must package a variable application inside of a handheld application. And the simple reason for this is that users cannot browse and install applications directly on the variable. If packaged properly, when users download the handheld application, the system automatically pushes the variable application to the paired variable. Open Android Studio and create a project with the name Hello World. Click Next. Choose Phone and Tablet as well as Veer from here. Click Next. Choose Blank Activity. Let it remain same. Choose Blank Veer Activity. Click Next. Let it remain same and click Finish. It will create a project for you. For the scope of this tutorial, we will be limited to packaging variable applications using the Android Studio only. If you are interested in knowing the packaging using the other tools like Eclipse, please write us an email and on the demand basis we will create the tutorial for you. Now let's proceed to the pre-work that we need to do before packaging. The first thing that we need to do is to open the Android manifest files of both Wear module as well as the mobile module. And in the Android manifest file, we need to make sure that all the required permissions are given for the mobile and Wear module. For example, the permission to vibrate or permission to access internet if this is required for your application. In our case, as we have made a simple Hello World program, we don't need any permission. The second thing that you need to ensure is that both the wearable and handheld modules have the same package name and the same version code and version number. You can check the package name from the Android manifest.xml itself. So this is the Android manifest.xml of wear module and here the package name is schoolsteps.in.helloworld. Let's check the Android manifest of mobile module and the package name is exactly the same here. To check the version code and version number, expand the Gradle scripts from the left and open the build.gradle files for both mobile and wear. In the build.gradle file for mobile module, the version code and version number is right here, which is 1 and 1.0. And in the similar way, the build.gradle file corresponding to wear module contains the version code and version number right here, which is the same, that is 1 and 1.0. So you need to make sure that version code and version number should be same in both the files. Last but not the least, you need to make sure that build.gradle file corresponding to the mobile module should contain this line under the dependencies. So this line should be there in the build.gradle file corresponding to the mobile module. So this line points to the wearable application module. From the menus, click on build. Click on generate signed APK. From the module, choose mobile. There are two modules. One is the mobile and other one is the wear. You need to make sure that you choose mobile. Click on next. Click on create new. Click here and choose the folder where you want to store your key store file. I'm going to put the key store file right inside the hello world workspace. And right here we need to give the file name. Let's call it my hello world key store. Click on OK. Give the password for the key store. You need to make sure that it is minimum of 6 characters. Give any password. You need to confirm your password. Next, you need to generate the key and under the key, we need to define the alias. Let's say hello world wear. Define the password. Confirm the password. Let the validity be 25 years. Give the first and last name. Give the organizational unit, name the organization, give the city or locality, state and country code. Click on OK. Click on Next and click on Finish. Before you click on Finish, you need to make sure that you are aware of the APK destination folder. In our case, it is inside the workspace Hello World and mobile module. If you want, you can copy this path. Click on finish. Once the signed APK is generated, you will get this prompt. Click on show in files. 
and it will take you to the folder where the APK is generated. It is right inside the mobile module. So right here, if you observe, it has created two APKs for you. One is the mobile release.apk and the other one is wear release.apk. So you don't need to worry about the wear release APK because it is already embedded inside the mobile release.apk. To test that, right click on the mobile release.apk. Click on open with archive manager. In case of windows, you can use winrar or winzip. Double click on res folder. Double click on raw folder. Right here you can see that android wear micro apk.apk file is embedded inside it. So your apk file is ready to be released. Now next thing that we need to do is to upload this apk file on the google play store. Let me do it quickly. As this is just a test application, we are not putting it in the production, rather we would put it in the alpha testing. Now to experience the Android Wear installation, you will have to follow few short steps as the application is in alpha testing. Let's do it quickly. The above details are available in the resources or you can visit facebook.com slash let's Android. Let me show you facebook.com slash let's Android. Here is the page and all the steps are available right here as well. So the first step for you is to open this community and join this community. Now to join this community, you need to sign in with your Gmail account. Let me do it quickly. So after you log in, you need to click on the join community and you will become the member of this community. You can invite your friends from here by clicking on this button. Joining this community is required as this will give you access to the application in the alpha testing. Open the Facebook page on your handheld device. Go to step number 2. Click on the link given in the step number 2. It will take you to the Google Play Store link where you will get the option for become a tester. You have to make sure that you have logged into the same Gmail account on your cell phone which you used to join the community. Now you need to click on become a tester and you will get the message that you are now a tester. Now you need to scroll it up and right here you will get the option to download the application from the play store. Click on this link download it from the play store and it will take you to the play store from where you can install the hello world wear application. Before hitting the install button. You have to make sure that your handheld device is connected to the emulator. Let's do it first. Before we start the emulator, let's wipe the data from the emulator just to make sure that Hello World application is not already installed. Click on the wipe data here. Click on yes. Now we can start the emulator. Let's do it. On the screen, you can see that my cell phone is connected to the emulator. Now let's click anywhere on the emulator, pull it up and go to the start. Click on start and check here if hello world is already installed. As of now there is no hello world installed on the emulator. Now let's go back to the play store and click on the install button. Click on accept. And it will start installing the hello world wear on your cell phone. As soon as the installation is completed, it will automatically install the hello world wear on the emulator. Let's test it. Swipe it to the right and click on start again. You will get the hello world right here. Let's open the hello world on the emulator. As the emulator is of round shape, it will give you hello round world. And now let's open the hello world wear application on the cell phone. And it will open the mobile module of the hello world. Friends, with this I take your leave. Thank you so much. Please like our page on facebook.com slash let's android. If you have any query, do write us at info at schoolsteps.in or schoolstepsin at gmail.com. Thank you.